We have got a player and a half for you guys today. This is someone who I might consider my favorite wonder kid in FM24 so far. He's awesome straight away, comes cheap, will be in most of your saves and has amazing, amazing potential. In this video, we'll show you how you can develop him into one of the world's best players. And then we're going to simulate ahead 15, 20 years to see how his career gets on in FM24. That's right. It's another episode of Wonder Kid to Superstar, where we take a wonder kid, put them to the highest end of their potential range to see just how good they could become in your save. Now, if you are enjoying this series, make sure you smash the like button for us to show your support because it really does help the channel and help the videos grow. Comment down below who you want to see next in this series and subscribe if you haven't already. With that being said, let's go find a player. We are here with Real Madrid. Don't worry though, he doesn't play for Real straight away, so he's not going to cost you 10, 15, 20 million. He's far cheaper than that. We're actually going to Norway to find this player. You might already have an idea of who it might be, but remember to stick with us because we'll show you just how to make him an unstoppable talent in game. We're going to head to Rosenborg and here I do not have the Norwegian divisions loaded but in my save is this man Sver Halsef Nypan. He is a Norwegian playing for Rosenborg at the age of 16. He's already considered a regular starter at the club and is one of the most promising talents in world football and in Football Manager it's a very similar story. Now he does look good for a 16 year old but you might be looking at him and thinking how could he become one of the best players in the world? Well firstly he has has a potential range of 150 to 180. So if you get unlucky and get the lowest version possible of Nipan, he will still become a very good elite level midfielder. And on the higher end, he will become one of the world's best. And one of the benefits he has is at the age of 16, like I say, he is a regular starter for his side. So if you don't sign him in your first season or your second season, he'll still be getting first team football, which is really going to aid in his development. And you'll see that in this save within a couple of years, he can really look like a completely different player. Now he's essential midfielder fielder who has the positive of being either footed so he's good with both feet he can play in a variety of positions but central midfield as this Mazzala on the attack seems to be the best role for him here he's got nice acceleration and agility the dribbling is high the first touch to passing technique and vision combine that with some good flair determination in this save and some other great attributes and he's got a great base set to build up from and you really could mold him into whatever midfield role you like he's so young that you can choose which one you want and develop him into that position now like I say you don't have to get him straight away usually in his second or third season he starts to attract some interest so scout him keep an eye on him and then try and sign him when you can and you will have an absolute gem on your hands for the sake of this video let's bring him over to Real Madrid and show you how we're going to set him up for success we're going to be deploying Nipan as a Mizala on the attack duty playing in this central midfield area no additional instructions a very basic Gagan press preset tactic I've just adjusted some of the roles and done nothing crazy now like I say we've used the editor to put him to the highest end of his potential range and also to bring him over to Real Madrid here. This way we're going to see him at the peak of his powers, the pinnacle of what Nipan can be. Even though he's got good determination and a personality of fairly professional already, we're having him being mentored by some of the best players at the club to try and get the best out of him. And in terms of his training, this is where it gets interesting. Now we're going to focus in on that Mazala role, the position that he is going to be playing in this video. That way we can focus in on getting the attributes that he needs up and then it comes to the additional focus. Now we're going to stick it to none for this video but for you guys, I would definitely think about putting it on final third. The decision making and composure, whether it's trying to score or create a chance for a teammate, we'd like to see that be a little bit higher. Now, because he is 16, there's a good chance some of his attributes might be variable in your save. For example, he might not have 14 determination in your save. It might be different. I can't confirm or deny that yet. Let me know if he looks different in your save. But either way, he'll have some good starting attributes with good potential, identify the weaknesses in his game and try and iron them out early. Now, he already has two good player traits. Try tries killer balls often and likes to run with the ball through the center, which are going to suit the attributes that he has. He likes to dribble. He's got good passing, vision and technique. So it's going to work well for him in that central midfield role. So now we're going to simulate a few years ahead, asking the assistant to play him to see how Nipan can look on the lower end of that potential range. Okay, so we're only one year into the future here and Nipan has already had some exceptional growth. He's not quite at the minimum potential range, but this is him sitting at 140 current ability after only one season at Real Madrid. He's already capped for Norway twice with a goal. He's valued at over 50 million pounds. At the age of 17, his physicals have really widened themselves out now. He's really well-rounded in the physical department. The mentals and the technicals have also improved with great thirst touch, passing, technique, vision has got better too. As you can see, 
see his decision making and composure have gone up a lot which is really going to help him in the final third and he is developing like crazy and is now labelled as a wonder kid. Now in game it wasn't the best first season, not a terrible one mind you either. Seems this year in FM just simulated asking a player to play really often. Doesn't get you the same average ratings it did in previous years but six goals, seven assists in 38 appearances. Not too bad for a player who is only 16 here and like I say in most of your saves you won't sign him straight away. You'll let him develop at Ross and Borg for a little bit but this shows you if you can get your hands on him just how quickly Nipan can develop so so far his attributes have came along a lot like I say the physicals have had some really good growth and that's what you'll be looking for early on in the years of 16 to 18 you'll be looking for that high physical growth once he gets to 19 20 those physicals aren't really going to shift as much so we want to see as much development as we can in those physicals right now but this is obviously him way below his worst potential range so even in the worst case scenario if you develop Nipan he is going to be a better player than what you're seeing here a 50 million pound man. So with that being said, we've seen him at the lowest of his powers. Let's see just how good he could become in your save. Before we see Nipan at full growth, just to let you know, I do have my own channel linked in the description down below. Over there, we have some football manager rebuilds if you prefer more entertainment as opposed to informative content. But also, we do some YouTube shorts about wonder kids you might not have heard of. So if that sounds interesting to you, go on over, hit the subscribe button, and hopefully some of those shorts will eventually pop into your feed and you'll find a wonder kid for your save. But yes, let's get back to the player. Now, the year is 2035. We are over 10 years in the future. And whilst Jude Bellingham is still the key player here at Real Madrid, there is a man competing with him in the midfield for that title because Nipan is now 28 is considered a legendary midfielder with 32 goals in 90 appearances for Norway obviously not the most dominant international team in the world so to score that many goals from midfield for them goes to show how talented he is and it's nothing to do with any kind of crazy tactic that we're asking him to play he's wanted by PSG and he has got a host of player traits if you don't know those traits will take up some of his current ability points so actually he could be an even better player in your save should he not have got these traits I've never seen so many really on a player but his physicals are insane now great pace acceleration and agility decent jumping reach as well which you wouldn't expect for a central midfielder technically he's got the dribbling the crossing the finishing is there now first touch set pieces are down with a free kick taken and also great passing vision and technique of the highest level insane off the ball work flair decision making and composure combine that with the exceptional anticipation that he already has and you can see why he would be a legendary midfielder even if you have to pay 50 15 million for him in your first year which you won't by the way it'll be about 5 million he is still worth getting he is just that good let's see though could he back it up in the in-game engine he definitely could after his first season he got 15 goals and 11 assists then followed it up with 13 goals and 14 assists and continued to hit great average match ratings for the rest of his career this season 19 goals and 24 assists is over one goal contribution a game and then in the recent year he got 20 goals and 17 assists he's not just a goal scorer he's a chance creator too a perfect at midfielder and this is only him at 28 so let's see him at the end of his career and at the age of 36, he is bound to go down as a superstar. He got 100 appearances in the end for the international team of Norway. Looks like his career will be over sometime soon as his attributes are starting to dwindle down. That hasn't really affected his in-game performances other than this season where he was still very good, but not as good as he has been in recent years. The 27 goals and 18 assists in 2040 is incredible though for a player that would have been 34 at that stage, I think. Now I have checked and unfortunately never did well enough to win a Ballon d'Or, but that's kind of to be expected for a century midfielder most of the time the strikers end up winning that award in the world of FM but you need to check him out from Gorsenborg two three four million pounds for a Norwegian central midfielder the Norwegian Zidane maybe we'll call him here playing for Real Madrid being a legendary midfielder with great attributes silky technically good physically and mentally as well with so many great player traits even if you got half the development that we had of Nipan here he would be worth the initial investment tenfold get your hands on him if you can let me know who you want to see next in the series below thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.